Hi guys, it's me, Teacher Gon. In our today's video, we will talk about the discrete and continuous random variables. Ito yung dalawang types ng, ng random variables natin in statistics and probability. So without further ado, let's do this topic. Yung pinaka-content ng video na to is for us to differentiate, uh, to define first what is discrete and continuous random variable. And second, we will differentiate the difference between these two kind of random variables. So let us define first, ano nga ba yung discrete random variable? A discrete random variable has countable number of possible values, while continuous random variable is a variable that can assure an infinite number of possible values. Para mas madali nyo matandaan yung difference between discrete and continuous random variable, let's say for example, ito kasi yung discrete natin is countable. Those are countable values like 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and so on. So in other words, kung mapansin nyo, whole number siya. While yung ating continuous, these are measurable values like yung mga... May mga decimal. Let's say, for example, 1.25, 1.21, 2 and so on. Kung, and yun yung mismong difference nila. This one are, uh, kung mapansin yung whole numbers, ito yung mga variables. And discrete are countable values while continuous are measurable values. So I have here examples of discrete random variable or in, in example number one, the number of students in a classroom. So again, the number of students in a classroom. So alam naman natin na may, sa bawat classroom, meron siyang specific number of students. So for example, meron akong classroom na ang number of students na ay 30 students. This one is an example of this kasi kaya natin bilangin kung ilan yung specific number of students. And number two, the number of pencils in a box. So, so for example, bumili ka ng isang box ng pencils sa National Bookstore. And each box contains five pencils. Example lang yan eh. Five pencils. So, this is an example ng discrete random variable. And so for example, the number of COVID-19 positive cases in Laguna. Uh, we know na reported yung mga COVID-19 positive cases, di ba? Reported siya. So, meron tayong specific, specific, specific number when it comes to this example. Okay? So, punta naman natin yung examples ng continuous. So, amount of sugar in a coffee. So, syempre, meron siyang, ano, meron siyang, uh, meron siyang estimated amount. So, for example, one tablespoon. Pero hindi natin alam kung gaano karami sugar yon. So ito ko ngayon ay example ng continuous. Another, yung body weight. So di ba, uh, possible din yung karong ka ng body weight na, let's say for example, 50 kilograms. Pero, alam natin na commonly ang mga body weight ng mga tao ay mayroong mga decimals. Let's say for example, 50.5 kilograms, 65.4 kilograms, Kaya siya example ng continuous. And for number three, speed of a car. So, pwede natin sabihin na 64 kilometers per hour. ba? Per hour. Pwede na namang 65.2 kilometers per hour. So, measurable ka siya, kaya siya under ng continuous. So, in the next part of our video, I'll be giving you five more examples wherein we will determine whether those examples or those random variables are under discrete or continuous. So we have here five examples na ito yung mag-serve natin bilang piece. Okay, you can pause the video and sabi dito, classify each random variable as discrete or continuous. Okay, so I have here five different examples wherein this will be your quiz and you can pause the video and later on, we will reveal the answer. Okay, so let's start. The number of books in a shelf. So definitely, 
this one is an example of discrete. So we will use letter D na lang to shorten, to shorten the word. Item number one is an example of discrete, the number of books in a shelf. Kasi di ba countable naman siya. And number two, the height of the students. As you can see, you have here the word height. Height is a measurable amount, meaning this one is an example of continuous type of random variable. And number three, the number of cats in a neighborhood. So syempre, countable din yan. Wala naman tayong akalahating pusa or cat sa neighborhood. So possible na ito ay isang discrete random variable. Number four, the number of voters in a city. So we know na in before the voting period, in every country or in every place, bilang yung number of voters. Again, bilang yung number of voters in a city. So definitely, this one is an example of discrete random variable. And lastly, amount of antibiotics in a vial. So, meron sang vial and then gando karami yung, yung dami ng antibiotics na sa vial na yan. So, hindi natin alam kasi ano siya, estimated lang siya. So, we don't know the exact value of that. So, we can say that the amount of antibiotics in a vial is a continuous random variable. So, I hope na nakakuha kayo ng perfect score sa ating quiz and pwede, pwede nyo i-comment down below para malaman ko ano yung mga scores nyo or ilan nyo nakuha yung score within this quiz in classifying a random variable as discrete or continuous. So I hope na natutunan nyo yung ating lesson and if you have any lesson request or topic request that you want me to discuss in this channel, Please comment down below para malaman natin. So if you're new to my channel, don't forget to like and subscribe. At hit na rin yung bell button for you to be updated sa ating latest uploads. Again, I'm Teacher Gon. Maraming maraming salamat. Bye-bye!